Hey guys, welcome to my mini happy planner that I use for wellness. Okay guys, that was pretty long, longer than normal, but that's okay. Um, this is my happy planner that I use for wellness, as I just said, and I don't know why I said it again, but here we go. I am very messy the last couple of weeks. It's very messy. I'm really liking these um, things because they're just easier than writing my mood because I don't have to come up with a word or whatever. I don't know. But this is how it turned out. I messed up there and kept messing up so I just put a sticker in there and wrote down what I wanted to write <laughs> so um, that's how it worked out uh, sleep was eh, it was okay not as good as I'd like but it was okay so I'm gonna flip this over so it'll be ready for me oh goodness okay not what I was planning to do I'm gonna flip it over so it'll be ready for me whenever it's time for me to go to that again and I'm going to pull this over. Okay, that freaked me out a little bit. <laughs> Something fell onto the washing machine. Yes, I'm washing clothes. I'm always washing clothes. Clothes are something you have to do. Just, just the way it goes. So anyways, this, if you have been watching me, you should know that this is an outdated planner. So I made some little things to cover up the dates. And then I use my own. Now I'm knocking down washi. Then I use my own um, date dots that I either save back or um, get out of a book that I purchased. Either way, I purchased it, and um, or I make myself, which I haven't made any date dots lately. Actually, I haven't since I started this channel, but. I've had so many others. There's no point in me making any. So, anyway, I use these to cover up those dates. I got this on clearance at Hobby Lobby. And I know a lot of people would be like, Ugh, I'm not doing that. Well, what's the difference in that and using date covers? Because now, it's just like if it was an undated planner. It's no different to me. And I know some people would think that, you know, that they're too good for it, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I would rather buy a planner that is outdated than know that it's going to go to the landfill. That's just my feeling. Okay, so also, if you have watched my others, you know that I don't use this as a food log because doctors tell me that I don't eat enough and they still can't explain to me why I can't lose weight other than their excuse is thyroid so actually I'm gonna move this down here what I did I did have these in one um, full sheet like a full strip to cover that like the oh wait that's not the right side <laughs> whoops uh, I cut those down yesterday, oh, last time, not yesterday. Like, this right here is just a full strip, and I had lines in it like that. But, um, I decided last week that I would cut them down, and I really liked that without that black line. And so, I decided that I would just go ahead and cut these, um so that I wouldn't have to do it every time that I'm filming I just went ahead and did it and that way I can do the lines however I want and there's nothing telling me like here's what it looked like you can see where the lines were and I cut those out but nothing is telling me how that I have to do things which I maybe should have put the steps at the bottom but it's okay that I didn't. It's just fine. Okay, so there's that. And I will still fill in my lines with um, 
my pen but I won't be uh, I'll be on the actual line and I won't have to count anything and it'll be just simpler so much faster it seems all right so let me get this lined up I should have just went ahead and lined it up I keep moving it I'm terrible about moving things I may have to count this side because okay I think that's it I hope that's it anyway because it's gonna be it now But somehow that just doesn't seem to be lining up or maybe it's just me I don't know it could be the way I'm looking at it so that's done and that went by so much faster than the other times that I've done it even faster than last week so there's that and then I'm gonna put these in for my mood tracker to, um, that's one of the reasons why I wanted this whole entire thing this planner was to track my moods because I just feel like it's important to know like you can figure out what's the reason why you feel a certain way or whatever I'm gonna start on this side with this one okay but I just feel like if we are aware of our moods we'll be more aware of maybe why we feel sicker or why we you know whatever is going on and maybe we can stop things from happening if we know how we felt and what I do which I, I was doing and I've kind of more started writing things about my sister's baby and my sister being in the hospital because that has affected me uh, because it's hard to see your sibling in pain it's hard to know that your niece is an extremely sick baby which she is getting much better but I'm not saying I'm not gonna write things about her because they do affect my mood they affect me if you know I, there's been times when I was sad because of you know what was going on and then there was times recently that I've been extremely happy because of what's going on now because she's getting better and you know things are looking much better for her and so that does affect me and that's been the for on the forefront of my mind or whatever however you're supposed to say it at the forefront of my mind that's what you should say so they do affect me in that way but I'm not saying I'm not gonna write things about that but I think I'm gonna start probably starting this week and do a little bit different so I pulled out my wellness planning uh, my wellness happy planner book it's a mini um, I got on clearance at Walmart and I wish I would have gotten more but it's been a long time since I got it <laughs> so it's not something I can go back and grab now so I'm gonna pull some stickers from here I don't know exactly which ones these me time stickers I don't know what I'm ever gonna do I may end up cutting off the me time part and just using that for like my skincare routine in my other planner I may do that it's probably what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna put this down here and I know it's kind of large but I don't mind that especially let me use these especially since I'm not gonna be writing anything in that box I don't mind this being a little tall but this is where I write down if I exercise or not the only exercise I've been doing uh, for a while is just walking and there was one day it's not in this part I haven't filled out that part yet it hasn't happened 
Monday I walked over 9,000 steps, which I know for some people that's nothing, nothing at all. But for me, it's a lot, especially since right, I wonder if that's why my ankle's acting stupid. I have a huge knot on my ankle. I'd show you, but that's weird. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that is why my ankle is kind of hurting. I think I want to, if, if it'll work, there's some, if they're small enough, that is, some little strips that I want to see if, let's see. Yeah, I think it'll work. I, oh no well maybe if I go over just a touch the other side it'll be perfectly fine but this side I'm gonna cut off the end a little bit if I can get my scissors on my fingers Okay, so I'm going to put that one on that side, and then I want to put something over here, too. Uh, I think I'll do this one. But I want to start over here. It says, stay. this one says, you got this, girl. Oh, my goodness, it happened again. Oh, okay. <laughs> something fell again. Anyway. This one says, stay patient and trust your journey. <laughs> okay, yeah, that works fine. I think that's pretty. Because I was, like, trying to figure out what to do there. I thought about cutting the box down to a, this, that size, you know, that size. And the word would work like that, but I decided, no, I'm not going to do that. But I think that's cute, these um, little strips there. Another thing with this book, it's got a lot of today uh, to do's and things, and I'm not going to need that because I don't do to do's. Uh, let's see, I'm going to grab a couple of these. This one says be happy, and I'm just going to put it in here. This will be my focus for that day my focus for the whole week but I may write something else in oh goodness I got it crooked it's still crooked it's better and this one says have strength I'm gonna put it on Saturday I'll have well on this weekend I'm not sure how many of the kids I'll have if I'll have all three of them or if I'll have just one this past weekend I had my two nephews this coming weekend I'll have my nephews and niece you know well no you may not know my sister that her baby's in the hospital they're her kids because I um keep them my husband and I my family we keep them while they're at the hospital uh, because we just do <laughs> because because I'm gonna put one of these little moon with the little Z's little, little sleep stickers if I can get it up I'm gonna put it over here you know I know that this house that we're in is not our forever home I know it's what hello okay I know that one day we're gonna move somewhere else and I have found so many things that I want to do differently or I want to have different one is I don't want the wash machine in the kitchen or <laughs> near the family room because I hear that washer all the time whenever I'm washing clothes because it's in the kitchen and the kitchen and the family room are all together which I love that and I love that but I don't I don't like for it to all be, you know, together, like the washer. I want a dedicated laundry room. Okay, I wanted to put this over here, 
but I don't know if it's going to work unless I let it go into the other part. So, wait, you weren't supposed to go down yet. And if I put anywhere over here, it'll, it'll get a lot of the space. You know what? I'm not going to care if it goes into today. I'm not going to mind that because I can still see it says today. It's fine. I was going to grab one of those just breathe ones, but I'm not. Okay, so... This one right here is cute. It says, think happy thoughts. That's the right there, the mood thing. I'm going to put that in right there. Just because it's a good reminder to think happy thoughts. I know that really doesn't make things like so much better, but it's a good reminder. I wish I had like some pretty deco to put in, but I didn't take anything out. And uh, now the dryer's going off. <sighs> okay. <laughs> okay. We're just going to have the noises. Y'all may not even hear them as loudly as I do. I know whenever I'm editing, I really don't pay attention to those noises I guess because I hear them all the time but I don't know do you guys hear them all the time <laughs> whenever I'm doing this I don't know okay I'm just gonna use a couple of these circles choose joy I'm gonna use that one be kind that's a really good one everybody needs to do that um laugh often I think that's good I'm going to scoot this over just a tiny bit more centered well now I've got those kind of going like cattywampus or whatever the words might be like you know sideways a little bit okay so now i can do my date dots and because i know more about the colors i'm using because i really didn't know so i don't think that's gonna work or that this one yes it could it could it could so which one do i want to use does it matter no it doesn't matter i will probably not use this as often so i'll use this so it's the 18th through the, I don't remember, the 24th, I think. So we'll figure it out in just a moment, right? I want to say it's the 18th through the 24th. And now you don't even know that it was a planner that was dated. And the thing is, I see so many people use dated planners. And they cover up the dates with dates covers and stuff anyway so why does it matter you know I don't know why it matters I think it's a good idea to save a planner from the garbage dump <laughs> or from the recycle <laughs> I'm, I'm upcycling I don't know I purchased it this year I just I wasn't even planning on doing this kind of thing and then whenever I got it, I thought, oh, that would be good, I think. And I think it is. I think it's good. But I wanted to put a little bit more gold in there because I've got the gold foil here and here. But I don't have any up there. So I think I want to just put in a few things. Now, I don't have to remind myself to drink water because... I have water beside my bed. The first thing I drink in the morning, well, I have one of these, but it's smaller. The, like, thermoflask things. I have one of those beside my bed, and the first thing I do is grab it in the mornings. And then I have the one you just saw all day long, right beside me, all the time. And I refill it several times a day. So, I'm getting my water intake. 
which thing is the reason why I'm getting my water intake because I used to not drink water I used to not like water but the reason why I am is one of the reasons why I can't do so many exercises <laughs> because I had spine surgery um, oh goodness it's been going on six years ago and I was I was during the time before my surgery I was told I couldn't do so many different things I don't know what this is for it is cute I don't know if it's supposed to be like an idea or what it's like a light bulb with a little heart in it this little icon thingy what is that for do you guys know I don't know I'm gonna put it over here just because it's cute anyways I was told that I couldn't do so many different exercises just so many and I was like well what can I do you know I can walk I can do an exercise bike I can do weights a certain amount and I can do like I don't know if you guys know what a gazelle is but it's like a glider thing and I can do a rowing machine but I can't do a lot of other things that you know like aerobics and moving around like I used to love Zumba and I can't do that um, because of my spine I still have other problems with my spine and my doctor doesn't want me to exacerbate those problems make them worse so anyway I was talking about water after I had my spine surgery which it was on my cervical spine I could not stand anything like to drink that had any flavor I just could not stand it everything that I tried to drink hurt my throat uh, because of the way this surgery is done and everything which I'm not going to go into that because some people may be grossed out but because of all of that I drank water and I started drinking water and I haven't stopped since so that is the whole reason oh this is getting chunky in the top but not anywhere else <laughs> it's getting chunky up there because of um, putting the things in but I don't put a lot of uh, stickers anywhere else but anyway that's how it's gonna look for next week I think it's cute and what well, I think I don't know if I finished in what I was saying but up here I want to start putting a little bit more in about my day and how it went like mentally physically you know stuff like that because I do have a lot of pain because of my back and other reasons and you know there's some days I feel better and I can do more than others so I want to write those in and I know for the last let's see ever since this day well, this is the day I got the kids, and this is uh, the day that Julie was born. And then this is the day she got super sick. She ended up going to Children's Hospital. She ended up having her first surgery, and she's been in the NICU ever since she was a day old. And I've been more focused on that than anything else so and I'm not saying I'm not gonna write things about her like I wrote things about my sister today or for yesterday today is Tuesday um, and I've written in a few things I almost wrote my steps in too early it's not time yet um, because I was so happy that I got over 5,000 but, <laughs> but anyway um, I, I want to start putting in things that are more about just me and I think what I'm gonna do is start like a journal type thing that is for everything else and have them both 
I don't know if I'd ever share that on here though because it wouldn't be something that I would decorate and stuff it'd just be like just writing because I have like this book right here I got from Walmart months and months ago and um I wish I would have gotten more it was on clearance but I could do like a journal in that because it's just been sitting on my desk and I've been trying to figure out what I want to do I thought about doing bullet journaling and I got two I got that one and I got this one that has lines but I could do like journaling a diary or whatever in this but yeah anyway I don't know how that would be if you put stickers in it if you've ever had this type of book I know it would probably get like super fat and chunky and stuff and I don't really want it to be like bulging out I would like for it to stay kind of smaller I don't know you guys let me know if you know so that is all I have for today I hope you guys enjoyed this if you did go ahead and hit the like button if you like my channel go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell so be notified when I upload also leave me a comment down below about the things my son is now home from work <laughs> that's why the alarm went off and I will see you guys next time thank you again for watching and remember don't take any wooden nickels and be sweet